So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. They did, and you deserve their help. I can sense something in you. You're special. I like to think so. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fedon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm... Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Do I have to leave Attica to be rid of you? It feels like you're everywhere I go. It is very strange, but to answer your question, yes, leaving Attica would help. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. 
So, a uh, thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child. An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. If I kill her, everyone goes free. But that means you think Odysseus dies, had to take care of I his sick father. Cult. If I hope to be remembered, I can't stay in one place like Cassandra. I haven't seen you since you took me to the ruins of Odysseus. Odessa, you remember? What's wrong? You have a look about you. It feels weird saying this to you, but someone wants me to kill you. That's nothing new to me lately. Now, where were we? Ah, I was surprised you remembered me. How could I forget? You told me to live my own life and care less about someone else's greatness. Looks like you're taking my advice. <sighs> I've been forced to take care of my sick father. So, no, I've had no chance to live the life I desire. I've seen a lot of people, but you're one of the most beautiful I've ever met. Is that so? You're a welcome distraction from my problems. I've been told I'm great at being a distraction. I'm sure you have a bed inside we could use. <laughs> you get straight to the point, don't you? I'll show you how to the point I can get. I'm sure you will. So how about it? You know, I'd love to, but I have a couple of things I need to pick up for my father first. If you helped me, then we could maybe continue our conversation. Don't worry, I'm here to help. What do you need? A few herbs from the Valley of King Lelech nearby. Also need a mixture from the market to combine with the herbs. There's a merchant there holding on to it for me. Is your father really so sick you can't get them yourself? I'm his only child. I'd rather be close by, in case he gets worse. Do you know what's wrong with him? No, only that he's not getting better. The mixture and herbs I need may help with the pain at least. If he dies, all his land will be yours, right? Yes, but I'd sell it anyway. What better reason to leave everything behind and truly begin my quest, like Odysseus? What's your connection to Odysseus? I'm a descendant of his. I'm named after him, too. Stay by your father. I'll be back with the herbs and the mixture. Are the herbs a mixture okay? You did get them, didn't you? That's what you're worried about? We were just attacked. Surely you should be used to that by now. Random bandits litter these lands. What did that letter you were reading say? That they were after you and only you, not me. I can't believe it. Looks like it deals with your father's estate. They probably want you and him both gone so they can take it. I could have died. Without making a name for myself, I'd never be worth anything at all. I won't let anyone hurt that face. No pain, no glory. How about you take me inside and show me a little pain? Oh, how I would love to do so, but this news... Someone aims to kill me. How could we possibly ignore such a thing for pleasure? Then where does that leave us? With a task at hand, clearly. Think what you must, but I can prove the truth to you. I just need your help. I'm not surprised. I'll let you know if you can have it. Uh. Are you ready to find the whole truth of what's going on? Always. I knew you would. You already believe they're after me, and you're right. I want to have proof in my hand saying why. The truth always comes out. It will. And then I can finally follow in the footsteps of Odysseus. So long as your search for glory never ends, your name will be remembered. Perhaps they'll sing your name as well in the songs they write about me.
If you want to find the truth, we need a clue. What about the notes you found? From the leader of Megaris. He's planning something. If there's proof he's after you, it would be at his home. I could check. You would do that for me? I'll find the proof you need. Good. I want this whole thing to be over. Do you have any idea what I'm looking for? The leader is the most powerful man in Megaris. I can't accuse him of anything unless I have proof that he's after me. Let's say I do find the truth you're looking for. What next? Then I'd tell everyone who would listen. The leader wouldn't dare kill me or my father once everyone knows their plans. I'll be back with proof, whatever it may be. The leader of Megaris tried arranging a marriage for Odessa. Sounds like an easy way to get her father's estate. This letter claims that Odessa hired other mercenaries. I wonder why. This letter mentions Odessa's estate and how crucial it is that they get it. By any means necessary. One of Odessa's suitors died mysteriously shortly after meeting her. You've returned. I hope with good news. Before we get serious, how about we finally have some fun? I appreciate your help, but I'm not sure. I thought there was something between us. At times it felt that way, but not enough for me. Let's keep our focus on what's important here. You've hired other mercenaries. Oh, just for odd jobs here and there. There's always something to be done that could use one. A man you were meant to marry was killed suddenly. I... He was probably killed by the same people who want to kill me. After everything I found, I know what's going on. And what's that? You don't deserve any of this. You're only trying to live your life. Of course I am. I've done nothing wrong. I just want to have a healthy father and to start my journey. You can start that after we have a little fun. I do enjoy your attempts. Tell me, what is it that's meant to make me swoon this time? If you undress me, I think you'll find out. I can do that. That was enough to make me swoon. Told you. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to... It doesn't have to be goodbye. Why not join my crew? Hmm. Well, you were always on my side. Plus, getting away from here would be nice. Great. What about your father? He's been feeling a lot better, thanks to you. You aren't worried someone will come after him? I'll be sure to share the information you found with a few people. They won't touch him so long as we have it. Then I'm happy to have you aboard. Thank you for helping Odessa and me. I'm starting to feel much better. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. These men look like they need a doctor. They're lousy sparring partners. Every last one. I need professionals to practice with before the Battle of 100 Hands. I need a champion. I'm just a working Mystheus, not a champion. Still, I might be able to help you with your problem. Well, 
I won't be able to pay you in any traditional way. But I am a sanctioned competitor in the battle. If you train with me, we can both officially enter. This battle, the Battle of 100 Hands, is the most grueling contest in the Greek world. The body count is high, and the chance of success low. Are you sure that's something you want to train for? Killing's what I do. And I do it well. You have the right attitude, I'll give you that. But you can't simply power your way to victory in the Battle of 100 Hands. It takes preparation. If this battle is so difficult, why enter it at all? I'm not from a family of means, champion, and have always dreamed about the Hundred Hands purse. My father, my brother, tried to win it years ago. Even my mother entered last time. And now, they're all gone. Dead. You want the Drachmi? I don't care about the Drachmi, not now. I need to save my family's legacy from the edge of yet another champion's blade. I need to win. ...and become like a hero of old. If the battle's so hard, why do you think you'll win? I train at all hours until my body gives out. Before bed, I make offerings to Ares. I wake in the night to strategize. And then, I rise in the morning to do it all again. That's an impressive amount of work. If I don't win the battle, at least I'll know I've done all I can. Let's say I want to fight in the Battle of 100 Hands. Then fight me, and prove you are a worthy training companion. You asked for it. It seems you are the champion I've been looking for. A real Spartan, if I'm right. You are? I sensed it in the way you fought. Aggressive, but not reckless. My name's Roxana. Cassandra. Next on the agenda is archery training. Are you ready? I'm ready. So eager. Well, a shipment of wolves has wrecked on shore nearby. They were meant to be part of the battle, but now they're our practice targets. Let's go hunting. We're a safe distance here. Now shoot these cursed wolves before they start taking down the local children. I'll see if there isn't a thing or two I can learn from you. It's nice to be out here. Just the two of us. Is that right? There were a lot of onlookers when we sparred. You'll be happy to know the rest of our training will be more... Private. On with the hunt. I can always use more pelts. A true champion. I knew it. Ready your bow. How do you like that? Do they rip it? They're works of art. Another kill. Keep it up. It's done. All the wolves are dead. You elevate archery to an art form. Even Sophocles couldn't captivate me like that. How much more training will we do before I can enter the battle? What? You don't want to spend more time with me? This time with you has been... I don't know what to say. Say no more. In a strange way, I see my own reflection in you. Yes. We've only just met, and yet we have a... connection. You're a unique creature, Cassandra. There's one more step to our training. Where to? My house. Shall we continue? Now that we've saved the children of Idre from a pack of hungry wolves, 
I guess we can move on? You jest, but that was a real nuisance we dealt with. Your choices have an impact, Cassandra. Your actions have already benefited the people here. So, shall we complete our training? We do have unfinished business. The training? Or the company? We've been having so much fun. Fighting each other, killing wolves. Go on. I think you'll like this next challenge. Yeah? We're going to have a foot race. First one to the high point on the island wins. I'm ready. You said race to the high point? Yes. The plateau on the other side of town. When I say go, the race is on. Three, two, one, go! I thought you'd be faster! Fast, even with all that gear. It's easy to forget how beautiful it is here. When you're training so hard, you mean? All this training leaves no time for fun. I can tell you're holding something back. Maybe. I come up here to remind myself to live in the moment. I can see how that might work. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was never fully dressed. And some people on Kithira built a statue to this man. Malaka <laughs> Sembedokles. <laughs> what became of him? That's Melos Island right there, where so many warriors go to die. At the battle, we may have to fight each other, and only one of us will survive. I thought you came up here to live in the moment. How's this for in the moment? Let's make it more than a moment. Must you wear so many layers? Comes with the job, I guess. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Until the battle, I mean. Let's not make this difficult. I can't help thinking. We don't have to cross swords. You could skip the battle as easy as I can, but you won't. You're right. Goodbye, Roxana. I met Roxana on Idria. She says you're the one to talk to about entering the battle on Melos. Indeed I am. My name's Rakios. Cassandra, I'm interested in competing in this. What did you call it? The Battle of 100 Hands draws warriors from all corners of the Greek world to compete for a large purse. But as competitions go, it's also very deadly. A last person standing type of affair. I do my best work in the shadows. 
Not sure how I'd fare on an open battlefield. It's true that only the best trained have a hope of glory in the battle of 100 hands. I make no promises. If you join the battle, you'll have the chance to prove your mettle against the best. And because the battle is backed by the most powerful and influential people in the Greek world, the purse is always growing. If you mean the people I think you mean, then I would like to meet them and have a few words. Indeed. They are the kind of people I would never speak about openly. You know, you do look like someone I've met before. Another fierce warrior. Family resemblance, perhaps. You mean Vimos? Then this battle is backed by the cult. Of course, I can't talk about that. Not with any old challenger, but become the champion of the Battle of 100 Hands, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to fight in the battle. I thought you might. The only rule is that every competitor must train with another competitor, and they must vouch for each other. I've already met Roxana on Idrea. So I've heard. She was going to be my top recommendation, as she's amongst our highest-ranked contenders. If you can train with her, then there is certainly a place for you in the battle. What started the tradition of a free-for-all battle on Melos? I started it with some financial support from the powerful people I mentioned. The metaphor is that each combatant is battling a hecaton here. The creature with 50 heads and 100 hands. Indeed. By defeating all the competitors, it's as if the champion has slain the creature itself. Quite an achievement. Not something to be attempted by the weak. Indeed. What do you know about Roxana? She's from a long line of aspiring champions. Indeed, virtually her entire family has tried to win the battle of 100 hands. Aspiring champions. None of them were as skilled as Roxana, it must be said. How did you become the person who organizes the battle? I was an up-and-coming merchant in these parts. Down on my luck, it turned out. Owed a few favors, then some powerful people called in those favors. It turned out to be good for me. Blood sports are big business on Melos. These powerful people you mentioned, they are the cult of Cosmos, aren't they? The mysterious ones. You want to meet them? I know, but it will have to wait. How long? I stay close with all of my champions. If you win the battle, it's something we can discuss over victory wine. I'm ready to compete. Indeed. Roxana tells me your training went well. Meet me inside the city gates. The battle will begin soon. We are gathered here again for the battle of 100 Han! Indeed! Impressive warriors from all over the Greek world have come to test their might and skill against each other! Whether it is the sharpest sword in the Athenian army, or the broadest shield Sparta can master, all now stand alone against the many. At our climax, the final two will face off on a special battlefield. But only one will be called champion. Let the battle of 100 hands begin! Remember that horn! You'll hear it throughout the battle, marking your progress! Now, fight! Ah! Amir, you finished. You've returned to Dracus. These bodies... Such a waste of life for sport. I haven't seen Roxana among the dead. I can only imagine the might of all these warriors aligned against the cult. Instead... We came to Melos to slaughter each other over a sack of Rachmi. Is there a final challenger? Indeed there is. Patience, Cassandra, patience. Tell me, Drachios. Is it Roxana? Is she alive? Your final challenger approaches. We will 
Finish this in the shadow of the volcano in the east! It seems like the training has paid off. I was about to say the same. Enough chatter. Our patrons demand a champion. Finish this! We can lay down our weapons. There's nothing more to prove. This is outrageous! Roxana, only one of you can win the battle and become champion. We don't have to kill each other. Think of the riches, Roxana! Indeed, everything you've dreamed of is almost within your grasp! We can walk away. Only one of you can walk away a legend! The stakes were clear from the beginning, Cassandra. Don't do this. I'm so close. Enough! The battle must end now! No. Roxana, we decide how this ends, not him. I'm beginning to think there are things more important than riches and glory. Join me on my ship. There are more adventures for us out on the Aeon. I will. I will join you. No! You must finish the battle! It's over, Drakios. It's over. When I say it's over! Guards! Thank you, champion. So, I'll see you at my ship? Yes. I'm ready to go wherever the sea wind takes us. Wherever it is. Adventure awaits. For both of us now. Come to see the richest man in Achaea, have you? You don't look rich. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. Rich? Wanting for nothing and calling me over to help. Doesn't make sense. Ah! <laughs> A mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. <sighs> relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm... Cassandra. And I've never heard of you. 
Probably says more about you than me, Cassandra. <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsomely. So, you get the theorems, and I get a reward. From a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots! What I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. Tell me about Zeno's Paradox. Myself excluded. <laughs> Zeno Evelia was the world's brightest philosopher, known for writing paradoxes that could stump anyone. His work was thought destroyed, but I happen to know the priests in Locris saved it. About the Golden Ratio... Ah, the divine number. It's a guiding principle in architecture, sculpture, and is found in nature, too. The original is wasting away in the dirty hands of sculptors in Argos. It should be with a mathematician. Like me. <laughs> Where am I going to find the Pythagorean theorem? It's all around you, of course. Deceptively simple, but subtly mysterious. The equation was apparently etched in stone. I heard the tale, it was lost in sunken ruins between three islands that form a triangle. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one. One of the documents Democritus wants. This isn't even math. It's a child's fable. Golden ratio. Democritus will want to know I found it. Here, Democritus. Cassandra! <laughs> what have you brought me? So, I found Zeno's paradox. You did? <laughs> and what did you think of it? The tortoise arrives at a point. Achilles, who is chasing it, runs after him. But after Achilles arrives at the same point, the tortoise has moved on. By the time Achilles arrives at the tortoise's new spot, the creature has again moved further. <laughs> exactly. It shows how the universe divides itself infinitely. A mathematical theory hidden in a child's fable. Zeno was clever. Every knowledgeable old man I've ever met was an idiot. <laughs> but the minds of children are endlessly wise. I found the original golden ratio. A discovery that would change the course of existence. At first, I didn't think I saw anything special about it, but... The sides of this diagram aren't even. The side marked A is almost half of the side marked B. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> a and B are to A as A is to B. So how can this theory be used? Used? <laughs> it isn't used, only observed. It is the divine balance occurring naturally in the most measurably beautiful places in the world. It is everywhere, and nowhere. It took some doing, but I found the Pythagorean theorem. The greatest breakthrough the world will ever know. And now we have it in its original glory. <laughs> I thought it might be about the points of the triangle, but the theorem is about the length of the sides. Astute. <laughs> You're wiser than you put on. The two shorter sides squared, when added together, are equal to the square of the ha That was... a lot to take in. But I think I found everything. You did! And with this, I can finally form my grand theory. The theory that simultaneously divides and unites all the... What is this theory? Using the theorems as evidence, I intend to prove that the universe is divisible into infinitely smaller parts. As we break reality down, the parts shrink, and the space between them grows. Once you prove your theory, what will you do with it? Although I aim to prove that the universe is divisible, I hope that the theory can be used to unite people. All of this sounds 
ambitious. One can't achieve greatness by attempting mediocrity. <laughs> but I confess, I have a personal motivation. Everyone always does. Ha! In another life, you would have made a fine student. When I was a student, I loved a poet. But I was so consumed by study, I never told her. I hope to use these theorems to show her my poetry. And maybe to win her heart. If that's what you want to do, let's do it. What? <laughs> right now? You missed your chance to tell her once, Democritus. There's no point in missing it again. Let You're right. This time I will do it properly. I never would have guessed you were a lover. Well, I wasn't. My theory that all atoms exist with a great void between them is a bit like the life I've lived. But not anymore. Now you're filling that void. Maybe. Maybe what fills the void and what draws us together is love. Save that line for the poet, Democritus. No! That's her! Those bandits, stop them! Democritus. I'm sorry. They killed her. For it to end like this, after all this time. You have your theorem, and the others. Read them to her. Let her see your poetry. It's too late. It's never too late. You can go. In another life, she might have known my love for her. You might have been my student. Imagine the happiness we'd have known. A wise man told me, the richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. Don't want for the past, Democritus. I'll leave soon enough. But for now, I think I want for privacy. Take this and leave me to mourn, Cassandra. I'm here to see Socrates? Cassandra! You know who I am? Of course I do. Socrates never stops talking about you. And you are? His wife, of course. I'm Xantippe. Socrates never told me he had a wife. Hm, typical. The only time he's quiet is when he's eating. Yet he can't find time to mention me. So where is Socrates? I got a note that said to meet him here. That's what I'd like to know. He went to another symposium last night, and he didn't come home after. Sounds like a good place to start looking. I was just about to head there myself. Come, keep me company. How long have you and Socrates been married? It's been quite some time now. What is it about him that you love so much? Love is not a word I'd use. It frustrates me to no end. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Even so, it's worth the frustration. His mind is like no other. Not to mention, he's quite a good lover. That is not something I wanted to picture. It must be why Kibiadi seems so infatuated with him. Don't mention that name around me. Always coming by drunk, sending Socrates gifts like giant cakes. I didn't know. It's fine. Xantippi! What is it? Socrates. They took him away. They said he was under arrest. For what? I have no idea. We were just talking after the symposium. I'd say go ask him yourself, but he'll be guarded. They took him southeast of here. That fool! I knew this would happen to him one day. I'll find him. Don't worry. This is his doing. It's best to let these things run their course. I can't believe Socrates was arrested. I need to find out what happened. Cassandra, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same. Well, here I am. Though I'm more curious about how you are here. The guards let you in? I only had to tell them how close we are. And they let me come see you. Ah, then you use what you learned from me. I'm impressed. My words cut very, very deep. 
Your care is appreciated, but if you had waited only a bit longer, I'm sure my trial would have taken place and I'd be free. You're not going to trial. We're getting you out of here. I understand your concern, but what good would escaping do other than prove I'm guilty? No. In fact, I'm looking forward to this trial. You would go to trial just to prove you can convince them of your innocence? Exactly. You have your ways to find excitement, and I have mine. What were you arrested for? I haven't the slightest idea. And that doesn't bother you? Sometimes understanding does not come at the moment we would like. More importantly, this is giving me the necessary time to think. About? I went to see the Pythia. And she told me there is none wiser than me. An intriguing thought, and one I've been unable to stop thinking about. Socrates, the Pythia is... It matters not what you believe she is or she isn't. I must examine not only her words, but my own self as well. I know nothing, so how could I be called wise? What does that have to do with being locked up? I believe my time here and this trial may help me find the answer. I will be fine. Trust me. I've known you for a while now. That's true. And you'd call us friends? I would. And friends share important things with one another. Is that so? It is. Then how did I not know you were married? I, uh... From what you just said, that means either we're not friends, or that friends don't share with one another. So, which is it? <laughs> I've wondered how much of our conversation you've taken to heart. And now, I have my answer. Were you doing anything when you got arrested? If speaking my mind is worth imprisonment, then I suppose I was. In the future, you may want to be more careful. You risk life and limb every time you draw your blade. Just because it's my tongue that is sharp, doesn't mean I'm not prepared to face the consequences of using it. Since you won't live with me, I'll go see the Pythia myself. That's not necessary. I'll find out why she told you that. I won't let you go to trial, even if you think you'll be found innocent. Ah, Cassandra, you... I'll come back when I have what I need. Oh, no. Not you. You remember me? Just go. I'm too old for this. There might be a bit of blood when you go upstairs. You again! I'm here for a different reason. After last time, they tortured me. I thought they were going to kill me, just like I told you. It hurt so badly. I begged for death. I didn't mean for that to happen. Just hurry and tell me what you... There's something you need to know. The cult is dead. What do you mean, they're dead? Just that. I've killed them all. There is nobody left to control you. You may have unmasked those who made the decisions, but the cult did not die with them. Their beliefs will live on. Then I'll find and kill whoever follows them. That is not a possible task. Now, tell me what you want. You told Socrates something, and I want to know why. <laughs> Questioning why the Pythia speaks is a strange thing. I know why you speak, and I know who controls your voice. Tell me why the cult had you tell Socrates he's the wisest. The cult didn't tell me to say that. I did that on my own. The cult wouldn't allow you to do that. Which is why I was very careful. I seek Socrates as an ally, but simply asking him to help wouldn't have worked. An ally for what? I know much of Socrates. Not only has he visited me often, but his students do as well. Get to the point. You know the gods don't speak through me. I feel Socrates is the one who can convince others of this. If he succeeds, the cult will have no more need for me. So you're hoping he comes to the conclusion that the gods don't exist? It matters not if Socrates believes they exist. He needs simply to doubt that the gods speak through me. I understand why you think Socrates can help, but... Why tell him he is the wisest? He'll delve into what it means to be wisest. It's my hope he'll conclude he's not, and therefore doubt the words of the gods. If you just told him your words aren't from the gods, wouldn't that serve the same purpose? And much quicker? Socrates is not the type to desire the answer so easily. He'll have more drive when he finds the answer on his own. 
This is getting complicated. Whatever you do, you can't tell Socrates. I understand. He has to come to the answer on his own. Exactly. Although, if you truly wish to help Socrates, a student of his came by not long before you. He seemed... distraught. Distraught? He was clutching a book tightly to his chest and kept looking over his shoulder. He told me he was going into a tomb nearby until things were safe. Thank you. I'll find him. You don't need to be scared now. I'm not with them. That doesn't mean you won't kill me. You just want this for yourself. I'm a friend of Socrates. You are? Prove it! Socrates is one of the most frustrating people I've ever known. He just talks and talks and talks. And it feels like he asks questions just so he can continue talking and talking and talking. What you call frustrating, I call brilliant. But it's clear you know him well. <laughs> Why were those men after you? For some reason, they wanted these writings of Socrates's. Well, I wrote them, but it's all his words. That seems like a strange thing to want. One of them had a big mouth. He mentioned something about the priest at the sanctuary of Athena Pronea. He said this was the final thing they needed to get rid of Socrates. I've always been curious. What does Socrates teach you? So much. Follow him around for an entire day and you won't be able to sleep. Your mind will be so aflutter with thoughts. I'm not sure I'd last a whole day with him. What drew you to Socrates? I've never met a man like him, and I don't think I ever will again. Every day with him is one worth waking up for. I'll take care of the priests. Thank you. And... Well... Please... Give this to Socrates. It hurts me to say this after all I've learned from him, but I have a family. I can't risk being caught up in whatever this is. So you're going to stop being his student? It feels I have no choice. Maybe one day that will change. I'll be sure to give him the writings. Thank you. Make sure he stays safe. The world will be a worse place without him in it. That student gave me an idea. Xantipi said there was a symposium. Maybe I can convince the others who were there to help Socrates. I'm not sure why the priests want Socrates gone. But I need to take care of them. Do not students take what they learn from their teachers? What then if the teacher is wrong? Does that not simply perpetuate these wrong teachings amongst future generations? You assume the students aren't wise enough to understand the flaws of the teacher. Think of those who came before us. First Thales, then his student Anaximandros, and then Anaximenes. Without the teachings of those before him, it's safe to say Anaximenes would not have reached the conclusions he did. I don't think that's true at all. Oh, perhaps this new phase can offer a different perspective. A student gets to take all the knowledge of their teacher without needing to come up with answers themselves. If they're smart, they should surpass those they studied under. An astute observation. The time saved by receiving the knowledge allows the student not only to expand on the ideas, but to come up with more of their own. But what if the student expands on ideas without first seeking the truth behind them? If a student asks questions before first learning from their teacher, they've not only failed their teacher, but themselves. Yes, and more would do well to challenge what they hear. Your appearance betrays you, Mystius. Clearly, you've taken on a teacher of your own. Something like that is the reason I'm here. Socrates needs your help. Socrates? Ha! If it's another debate you want, it will be hard for us to decide who hates that man more. Why would we help him? It doesn't matter if he's your worst enemy. If they're willing to imprison someone like Socrates only for his words, what's to say they won't do the same to you? So, you want us to help out of fear of being imprisoned ourselves? I don't care why you help. If I hadn't said his name, would you think it was right Socrates was locked up? If it's as you say, and it was for his words, then no. And aren't you afraid it could happen to you too? Of course. If we can't speak our minds, what else are we to do? If you believe that, then you should help. Fine, fine. You've made your point, and you've made it well. Socrates deserves our help, but we don't give it lightly. That makes it worth even more. We'll be on our way, then. We'll gather some others as well. Make sure our voices are heard. 
Believe it or not, we're pretty good at causing a scene. If you're like Socrates, that's not hard to believe. Wow, I've never seen someone convince them so easily before. Is that so? I guess I should feel proud. I'm surprised to see a child here. Is there an age at which it would suddenly be okay to debate with them? What then of the night before I turn that age? Should we be prevented from doing what we wish due to the world's view of us? I can't even have a normal conversation with a child. Normal is no fun. Look around. Everyone here wants the same thing. Headaches? Debate! You're the first kid I've met who'd rather debate than play. Don't tell the others. But I'm envious that you're a student of Socrates. I hope one day to be as well. You're on the right path. What's your name? Aristocles. Although I've never liked that name much. It does sound like countless others I've heard around Athens. Why not choose another? I can do that? Huh. My brother always had a problem saying my name. So he called me Plato instead. Perhaps I'll use that. I like it. Thank you. Well, I better hurry after the others. Kere! Cassandra, get over here, you spider's jellyfish. Once we have the papyrus, we simply had a few special notes of our own. Fuck, but only with the fake evidence and their own testimony. Those priests must be the ones who hired the thugs and want to get rid of Socrates. If they don't, they won't be able to testify against Socrates. Socrates, you're... here. I am. What happened? The trial couldn't have taken place that quickly. Had I been given the chance to defend myself, it would have been quick indeed. But unfortunately for me, I was let free before I could. That's good news. Apparently, those who had charges to bring against me were found dead. And evidence they claimed to have went missing. It sounds like someone was looking out for you. There were also some people protesting my arrest, I was told. I have to ask... Did you have something to do with this? Me? Kill? Steal? Arrange protests? Yes. It does sound like me. But it was someone else this time. I'm glad I asked. Did you have time to find an answer for the Pythia's words? I thought it would have taken much longer than it did, but... The moment I stopped thinking about it, it came to me like a flash of Zeus's lightning. We should get you home. I'm sure you'll be more comfortable there. In some ways, that will be true. In others, well, Kathan Pipi will decide that. Being free feels good, but I don't believe Kathan Pipi will be happy with me. She has a good reason to be mad this time. We argue often about how I need to be careful with what I say and what I said. This will only give her more cause to bring it up. That doesn't sound very fun. Oh, you misunderstand. I love it. You do? People see Xanthipi and believe it is her beauty that drew me to her. But it is her argumentative spirit I lost for. Nobody ever likes that about me. Having my opinions and thoughts challenged helps me to refine them and to grow as a person. And she likes these arguments? Oh, <laughs> I doubt it. But it is in those fiery moments that her spirit is strongest, like an untamed horse. Don't call her a horse to her face. I'm afraid your advice is a bit too late. You came back. Finally. I'm ready to return to Athens. I've had enough of Phokis and his talk of the Pythia. You will be happy to hear I have no need for her words any longer. Ah, then something positive came out of this after all. I just remembered. A student of yours has been taking notes of your teachings. He wanted you to have them. What did you do that for? Nobody asked him to write down my words. Even so, why not keep it? Share it with others. Because of a story I was told as a boy. 
All right. Let's hear it. The king of Egypt, Thamus, was visited by the god Thephtha. But Thamus disagreed. He believed the people would no longer use their memories. For they would simply read instead. These written words would not offer to... You don't want your own words written. Much like creatures in a painting... The... That's the part you like. The defense of your work. All who speak should defend... That is why I choose to speak and not write. That is why any words of mine that last beyond my final breath... What's your plan now? After I return to Ath... You'll be careful. If I have to choose... I should get going. I'm glad you're free. As am I. Although, if you allow me, there is something. I doubt I could stop you. We like to believe that action means progress. But it's control that's so truly desired. The more we do, the more control it seems we have, but the less we allow for others. If we grip too tightly, we'll find we've crushed what it is we're holding on to. Meaning? Meaning we must sometimes let life unfold without trying to influence the outcome. I'll keep that in mind. I almost forgot. In your letter you said you had something to ask me. What was it? You know, <laughs> I've completely forgotten now. Take care, Cassandra. Stay out of trouble, Socrates.